Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing my second look with the Dose of Colors Desi Katie Friendcation palette. And I really wanted to do a nude kind of brownie natural look with this with like a pop of a sparkle on the inner corner. I thought that that would be a nice difference compared to my very bright mauve colorful look. So I just wanted to showcase that while this palette does have great colors in it, you can also achieve a very natural look with this. The colors blend very nicely and I even really enjoyed this matte shade over here on the lid. I think it, it gives just like a nice kind of brightness to the eye without being like too much or too white. So I really hope that you guys enjoy this video and let's get into it. I am a hot mess. My face is a hot mess. My hair is a hot mess. So let's clean that up a little bit. I am priming with my Kanan Austin Prime and Protect Mattifying Primer with SPF 50. Sorry if you hear my cat in the background. He is acting naughty. Hey! He likes to scratch at our blinds. I almost end up throwing something at him. Then for foundation, I'm going to take the Neutrogena Skin Clearing Oil Free Makeup in Buff. And I wanted to use this today because of my skin, so I thought I would give it a shot. I have a brand new beauty blender. It's a good day. So I'm just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand. There's so many water noises happening in my apartment right now. I don't know what's going on. So if you hear that, sorry. So I think this color is going to be a little bit pink. I'm just going to take a couple of my NYX. Total Control Cover Drops in beige. Just to give it a little bit more of an olive -y finish. Yes, that's what I'm looking for. I'm not looking for a ton of coverage today. I just want to have a little bit of a base down. And I'm blending with a beauty blender. So what are your Halloween plans? I don't think Ian and I are going to like an actual Halloween party. But I think we are going to film me turning in him into Lord Voldemort. So that's kind of exciting. Y'all really have to ignore my hair. Look at that, you. Uh, even I know it looks gross. It's fine, though. It's fine. Then I'm just going to go in with a little bit of concealer. I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Almond. And I'm just going to be using a little bit under my eyes. And forehead, nose, cupid's bow, and I'm gonna put some on my eyelids. And then I'm gonna take my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Breakout in the shade Light, and I'm gonna put that on any of my breakouts. And then I'm gonna blend that out with my Beauty Blender. I'm going to set that with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade Fair Light. And I'm actually not going to bake because I feel like this foundation is going to be a little bit drying and I'm not really doing a whole lot today. So I'm just going to take my Morphe R10 and I'm going to dip it and then pat that in the areas that I need to set that get oily. I just don't want my face to look super dry. So I'm not going to set my face like I normally would. I'm just going to pat the powder in with a brush. I am gonna bronze a little bit using the Tarte Park Ev Princess Palette. And with my Morphe R2, I am gonna go in with the shade right here. And I'm just gonna lightly bronze. Then I'm just going to use a little bit of blush from Note Cosmetics with my Luxie 504 brush. And then I am just going to blend. Yay, now 
to the Fantasian palettes. I think I'm gonna do something pretty natural, obviously. That's what I'm going for today. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with Necessary and a Morphe M511 brush. And I'm just gonna blend that into my crease. I love the shade, I love the color, I love the way that it blends. Man, I am not zooming you in today. Still there. I'm not doing anything revolutionary today. So, still there. All right. Then I'm gonna go in with Churro with a Morphe M573. Churro, churro. And I'm just gonna pop that on the outer and then right above my natural crease. Then with Jeans, which is this shade right here, and my Sigma E25. Just tapping it a little bit. And right in the crease, but I am like ever so slightly putting this in here, barely touching my lid and the brush. Then I'm gonna take a Morphe R43 brush and this basic shade right here. right in the center. And I'm gonna bring it in a little bit. All right, and then I'm gonna take that dark brown and I'm just gonna blend really softly in the crease. Shade's nice. It's not chalky. It's pretty pigmented, but like not overly pigmented. Okay, I'm trying to do a matte eye here. Then I'm gonna take my BH Cosmetics and that necessary shade, the first transition shade. Look up into the mirror and connect it on this side. So I'm gonna put a nude liner in my waterline. This is the NYX Wonder Pencil in Light. Mine's very well loved. Then I'm gonna take the palette and I'm gonna take this Just a Kiss shade with my little pinky finger. And I am going to pop that on my inner corner. Just for a little bit of sparkle. Now I'm gonna highlight, I'm gonna put this on my brow bone, temples, down the nose, and my brow bone as well. And I'm gonna be using Chasing the Sun. And I'm first gonna take that on my Morphe M510. Then I'm just gonna take the second brush. Okay, I am going to spray. I'm using the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. I'm just gonna pounce that all in. Okay, I am going to put some mascara on. I'm not using false lashes today. I just purchased my favorite Wander Beauty on Lash Mascara and I just opened a new one. So I'm super excited about that. So I'm loving the way that this looks, very natural, very normal. So I am gonna go ahead and line my lips with Kylie Jenner Lip Liner in Coco K. On top of that, I'm going to be using the other lip color that I got, which is the sparkly shade called The Most. So let's open this up. Same outer box as the 
liquid lip but this is in a clear container and it has like purple and green kind of reflex in it super pretty so i am going to pop that on top of my lip liner Ooh. Mm -hmm. it's pretty smooth people say that it's kind of like chunky but i don't really notice that and then i kind of wipe this off it's super weird but i get to turn the gloss a different color you know does anyone else do that or do you guys just like stick it back in the tube okay guys so this is the final look i think it is very natural very pretty I just wanted to showcase that with this collection you can go very natural if you wanted to. I think this palette has some excellent neutral shades and you can just kind of get like a brown neutral kind of eye with it. I think the cream shade in here is really nice. You could probably also set your lid with this shade. So you do have um, an all around nice neutral options with this as well as bright pops of color even this shade here does have like a greenish tint to it but i think you can achieve a very natural look with this you could even negate the last darker brown shade that i used and just use the first two and i think that that would be a really nice natural look as well i really like the lip gloss i think it's really nice i don't think it's gritty i've heard some people say that but i think it's really nice I think the highlighter looks really nice too with just like a natural type of look. It just kind of gives you a glow. I don't think it really like accentuates any texture or anything like that. And I like the glitter in the inner corner. I think it just kind of gives it a little pop of sparkle or something. And I really am enjoying this palette. And I hope you enjoyed this more natural look with the Friendcation palette. If you did, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And I do put out videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So keep an eye out for Saturday's video. It will be a very dramatic and bold look using this palette. And I'm very excited. So I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you are. Toddy byes. I'm gonna go blue. <laughs>